Hey there, welcome to my second unboxing video, and today, what am I unboxing? Well, let me just get this big boy right here. The Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Juggernaut Edition. Funny thing about it is that this was not pre-ordered. I actually went to my local game store and they had it right there, and they held on to it for me until I paid it off. So, without further ado, let's get into it. A lot of it's going to be off screen, on screen because this thing's huge and I'm only using my laptop camera. So let's get this slide off. It's a nice back cover here. Back shows everything you get. Oh, that's a nice. <laughs> that's a nice reveal there. This is a pretty neat design. Oh, the uh, box on the inside. Pretty sweet. Okay. Get the flap here. This is this is about a little bit above my knee when it's standing up on the ground. And I'm about six foot tall, so it's a pretty pretty big box. Pretty got a nice weight to it too. Oh it folds up nicely. And what do we get? I'm gonna just set this. We're gonna work our way from the top to the bottom. Alright, first thing we see here oh, is our steel case book with, well, cover here. Then we turn it to the back. Nice little zombie design there. Okay. We got the game in here. We got the sad manual. I don't know why they stopped making actual manuals instead of these rinketing things. That's just a personal gripe of mine. But nothing else to the steel book. Uh, you get season pass right here. You get the giant zombies map and two guns and Nuketown right here. And I'm not showing the codes. Screw that. What's this? Oh, that third thing you get is this neat little thing. Slide this back. Uh, that came out easily. It's all the cards with all the operatives you can play of online. Got from the back Spectre. Even has like their power ups and a little description of them on the back. Seraph, Prophet, Ruin, Reaper, Outrider. Battery, Nomad, and Firebreak. These are pretty cool. They got a nice little little rubber feel on them. And these are like really well illustrated. I'll have to find where I can put these up for display. Because these are pretty nice. Just put that back on. And again, with my unboxing videos, I'm not going to do any editing. It's just going to be a straight through. So if it does take a while for me to get stuff in and out. Feel free to skip around in the video. Alright. One, two, three. Fourth thing I had to count is this neat little tin. What's inside? Well, coasters. We got Double Tap, Juggernaug, Speed Cola, and revive. Who do you smell like? He's got, he's got a strong rubber smell. But these are really nice, uh, nicely made. I'd probably be using these. Definitely. Since I got a, a wood table here and my couch has wood arms, this would really come in handy. It's pretty cool. Get back in there. And the tin's nice too. They didn't over design it. They just kind of kept it with everything, just black in the three. I like that. Now, the main thing you get the Juggernaut Edition for is that fridge. What does it look like? Let's see. What's this? Oh, quick reference setup. You get this. Safety installed. 
installation. I can't read today or last night when I recorded the uh, Fallout 4 Pit Boy Edition opening. You get it's secure with this eggshell carton thing. Oh, that house had a smell to it. Okay. I need to get a better camera so I can actually show. Ooh. Well, let's get this out of the... Yeah, nothing else than the box. This will be the last item is the fridge. And it is a nice looking fridge. Free sanding. Installation only. Let's take it out of the plastic. Probably an easier way to do it. Go about that, but fit. Oh. I don't know if it's like this or something else. I'm catching weird. Might be the tape. So sometimes tapes can smell weird, but sometimes it's giving a funky order. Nope, oh, not the first. That's probably weird. <laughs> okay, there you go. The Juggernaut fridge. Has a nice little carry handle. In case you want to take it to a friend's house. Mm -hmm. Pulls down neatly. This is really well made. You've got the ice cold zombie handprint right there. Got your ventilation. Your off and cool switches. So, oh, there you go. Switches would be right here. All right. Oh, okay. Right here's your power outlet. And it opens pretty nicely. Can probably hold about six cans. That ain't bad at all. I want to see what these shelvings are like. This is one of the shelves. It's a decent plastic, actually. And it just slides right back in. As I am struggling. We got our top here. This will go on top of the fridge. Cardboard. To help protect that. Come on. Ooh. Oh, that's probably the uh, cable. Yep, that's the cable. Oh, man, using the block uh, AC adapter. That's going to be fun. More cardboard. The other shelf. Get that right in there. So, the inside is three shelves high. So, probably about two cans per shelf. So, six cans ain't that bad for a little mini fridge like this. And I think it holds with... It's just a regular mini fridge, so it holds with like a little bit of magnets. But, I have a nice tight seal there, so you don't have to worry about cold leaking out. I'm just excited to use this thing, just... When I have gaming days, I just have this right hooked up near the TV and stuff. Just lean over. Boom. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Just gonna set this down for now. Let's get this bad boy out of here. On the back, you got off LED, LED sound. So this can just be lit up, or it'll play the music. From the game, how it connects to the audio jack. Plug that in. There we go. Yeah, and it's stereotypical to have him out and doing a Call of Duty fridge, but when I said six, I was actually mistaken. You can actually do nine if you do two in the back, one in the front. So, you can actually have nine cans in here, which is a really nice amount. Well, that'll be it for this unboxing video. See you in the next video.